Warburg began a new sport this year, or new program, I should say, with bowling. Uh, so we'll hear from Joe Squires, our head men's and women's bowling coach. Thank you for your time, and I appreciate everyone just being here, uh, taking the time to interview. The, as it was pointed out, this is our first year. I was granted last year the opportunity to go out and recruit and was able to bring in seven freshman males and six freshman women that uh, joined us for this team. And we had three walk-ons for the, the males, so we're at a total of 16 bowlers. And we had one late one that came in, so we're at 17 right now. Our season started uh, September uh, 11th when we had our first practice, and right from there I sat down and laid out our practice schedule to them saying we since we have such a long season starting in September our competition season started October uh, 7th and wanted to or will be competing until uh, March uh, the possibility of competing March uh, 13th and 14th so it's a longer schedule the the regular season schedule will end we just added a tournament uh, that I have to make an announcement for, but that one will be January 27th and 28th in Dubuque. And uh, the rest of them will, we've had uh, already competitions in uh, Cedar Rapids. We've had competition in uh, Menominee, Wisconsin. We'll go to Kansas. And we we see competition from every level. This is not just a Division three program. This is a, a bowling program that uh, competes in the USBC, and we see uh, NAIA schools, we, we see club teams, we see Division I schools, and these are the, the schools that we have to compete against in some of these tournaments. This Kansas one, for example, will have Wichita State on both sides, uh, which are our national title winners. Uh, we've had Midland, who has competed for them. We've already seen uh, Mount Mercy, Grandview, St. Ambrose, who are all national uh, tournament attendees. So our level of competition is just kind of all over the board. And the best thing that we've started to do right away in practice is be able to identify our strengths and how we carry them into tournaments and setting our own culture that is what, how we want it to be in the tournament field and not paying mind to the, the competition of the uh, that's already in the tournament, we have to just make our own standpoint and bowl our own game. So with that, the uh, I've seen already some standouts. Uh, for one, Andy Joel as a freshman has uh, been averaging uh, 168 and looks to continue to move forward. Uh, on the girls' side, we've had two uh, good standouts with uh, Michaela Height and Rachel Holst, who uh, there again, they came from good programs, just being able to uh, make stand out. And the hardest thing for freshman bowlers to realize is that what worked at the, the high school game will not work at the college level. We are no longer bowling on uh, what are considered easy shots, which are house patterns. We are now bowling on competition specified bowling patterns that are made to uh, just uh, point out mistakes and not give away any miss room. So when we're bowling, we no longer have a miss room of about a foot. We have a miss room of about an inch, and this is about 40 feet down the lane. And it's really hard for bowlers to grasp that. And they're, and a lot of them, we've we've been making the transition from what their game looked like at, when they came in and laying out a plan right away directly that will that they're able to do in practice and in those individual sessions. Since you're a startup program, can you just talk about the transition of what that process was like to begin a bowling program here at Warburg? Sure. One of the the first uh, things that I did personally was getting in touch with all my contacts that I had in Iowa coaches, uh, and just announce to them that we had a that Warburg was starting a program, and the rest of them I I sent out uh, mailings to uh, just all the different high schools in Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, and Missouri announcing that we had, that we were starting a program and detailing, uh, uh, just laying out that if anyone had any questions for me uh, about how to get in contact, uh, 
my contact information. And going from there, I, uh, I asked if they had any seniors that were looking to be a, a starter in college that they knew how to get a hold of me. And then I took the road right away with recruiting. Uh, Minnesota high school starts in the fall. So I started there in Minnesota, making the contacts and uh, going around with each one of the, the competition schedule that I could. And then in Iowa, I went to over 50 different competitions last uh, season uh, during their high school. And then Wisconsin starts kind of in the spring, so that was the next field. The, uh, I made some stops down in Illinois and actually was able to pull two bowlers from Illinois area just based on uh, some coaching education classes that I went to and meeting with other coaches. So from there, we, we established the schedule. Uh, and I had, from previous coaching, I knew the, the schedule that I wanted to go to. So I reached out to the tournament directors and got her name put into uh, some wait lists on the, some of the bigger ones. And then we got into some of them and did not get into uh, all of them that we wanted to. And we went, we just continued to make contact with the, the bowling alley. Our, we uh, practice in Waverly Bowl Inn uh, two of the three times that we practice a week. And Tripola for the other one based on their ability to put down our uh, sports patterns. I know this year you don't have any home uh competition uh is that going to change in the future for you guys we are uh this year i'm gonna i'm making contact with the uh hawkeye community college they're starting a program that will be competing next year and in, i want to see if we can make an agreement or reach a point that we can have a our closest meet would be cadillac lanes and since they're that's their practice center we can do uh kind of a dual uh home uh, host contest.